is SMI we're going to do um Hawks and Miller old uh, might in the Dever Spanish Hawks Mill old uh my endeavor son new Nezu and regard girl father McKay non son prayers nephew Shota Fibinatsu Victoria big brother Red of the Sun Rear we're also adding a new character which is going to be in the love interest in Commodoria. So we're going to do the short story part two. This is when Tony, um, Tony gets to gets to me and go for the love, first time after years since Tony saved Izuka as a child. Tony and Hawks are on day and Izuka and go, uh, meets up with him. All right, let's go. Previously on, on, the triple finish trap, pro chapter number one. So short, what do you think who wins? I don't know. Well, I think it's McKay. Why? He just knocked them out. Oh, that's awesome. So Shota watching McKay smiling in victory. So, um, Shota, I have to get going. Why? Well, it looks like Hawks wants to date. All right, so to Shota, look at him and Hawks is there. If you hurt his feelings, Prepare to get injured, says Shoto. I don't know, said Hawks, understanding the situation. We'll see you later. Bye. Hawks and Tony left the UA to go on a date. So, um, so Hawks, yeah? What's with all the people looking at you like you're some sort of real jewel, said Hawks? Probably because my purple streaks are showing. Purple streaks, said Hawks, looking at. The face structure and see purple lines are to prepare. Huh? So Hawks again. When did that show up, so Hawks? Why are you looking at uh, Satori? The purple lines on your face. <laughs> You'll figure out some one day. Satori, walk, keep walking to the cafe. Hey, wait up, so Hawks following him. Look, we're here, Satori. Open the door for Hawks. After you, Prince Hawks, Satori. Thanks, I guess, said Hawks. Well, let's go in, said Tully. Table for two, said Tully. Yes, Marinette, said the worldly voice. Ah, Joy, nice to see you working today. Yes, sir, I know my brother doing the security shift, but it's nice to see you here, sir. Yes, Joy, right. it's nice to see you as well, said Mar Marinette. Huh, said Hawks. Wait, you're the pro hero marionette, the one that risks his life, hero that risks his life to save children. At pizzeria, and now became the marionette. Ah, uh, now you figure it out. Said so Joy, kissing Ox's cheek. Let's go to our table. Joy, yes, marionette. Our table, please. Yes, marionette. Sir, said so Joy, follow Joy in my table. Ah, uh, perfect. Anything you want? Our coffee, please, and uh, and uh, apple pie, said so Tully. I'll get a um, coffee, dark, said so Hawks. No cream, said so Hawks. Memory, so no cream. And a chocolate pie, said so Hawks. Come right, said so Joy, running to, to get the order. So, all this time you've been dead and uh, reincarnated. And that was the marinette. Yes, that's how my life was, said so Tully, looking out the window. How long has it been? After Junyan died, I started becoming the pro year after Junyan. So I started risking my life. I used to have all of Endeavor and I have all, actually, I still have all Endeavors and all of all my psychics and interns and work study students. They got more learning from me than the Endeavor and all my combined. Wow. Yeah. What really happened out there? Well, we got reports that someone's been marrying children off and on. So I was say I'll go to the scene to see what's going on. When I got there, I saw kids being led into a parts in the service room. I followed them, and I jumped in the line from the, from the, from the tribe being stabbed. What was his name? Izuka Midoriya. Oh, my successor, said I. You mean... Izuku was and he was from Bakugo, where the ones that got followed in. I stepped in front of Izuku because he was, he was going to get targeted. 
Yeah, Kalzer stepped in and took the stab wound to the chest. Oh my, yeah. I told the children to run, but they wanted to fight, but I said to run. It's not a fight for children. So I ran, and I fought with uh, William Afton. It took me four hours to knock him out. Two minutes later, I was bleeding sexually with blood from blood loss, and I was about to die. When I was about to die, I heard the sound of a music box go off. What happened? Looks like I saw a puppet. Her name was Puppet, but her name, real name was uh, was was an Emily. She helped me, she saved me. Her last name was Emily, but I never remember la her first name, because she always said, and I would say her first name, to say her last name. She saved me. She sacrificed herself to make me as a marionette. She gave up her last ounce of strength to give me the form of marionette, and then she turned to dust. She knew I was her successor, and she gave me everything she had. After that, she disappeared into the dust. I smiled and I prayed for her like my father for BK would ever say. I always prayed for the ashes of a fallen soldier, a fallen hero, he always said. So I always pray, I prayed for her and to go to the next life. Then I became Marinette. I hid in the music box, Chad, as the puppet. So no one knew who I was, but now I found my boy. But why would people not find you? Because once you become the puppet, you're stuck in a box, fighting against William every time he tries to murder a child. You become a child into an animatronic. That is your will of the puppet. I'm sorry. It's all right. Over the years, I just got letters from a woman named Inko. I guess I fell in love with her. What if you ask her to become yours? Why? I mean, she's not dating anyone, and maybe all of my steals her from you. Then how can I ask her to be mine? Show her the letter. I have it in my pocket. I always carry it with me. And tell her how much you feel. All right. Well, after this, let's go to Jinko's house. I want to tell her the truth that I'm always there for her. All right, Hawks. Tony and Hawks finished their tea, their iced coffee, and coffee, and then bakery treat, and paid for it. They entered in the residence. They headed there, and Ink and Tony knocked on the door. Ink ran to the door. Hello? It's me. She married the boy, voice of Marin. Marin, she didn't go hug him. You're alive. You're out of the box. Well, yeah, I am. Samarin, I want to ask you something. Will you be mine? What? Will you be mine, Inko Midoriya? Yes. I'll be yours. Sanko kisses his cheek. Thank you, Inko. Samarin. Guess you're probably our little Hermes and Ox. I guess so, Sanko. I smile and hug his two lovers. I love both of you, so Tony hugged him. We love you, so Hawks and Anko. Alright guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy and peace out.